Hey, what's up? Uh, when I first got into IT, you know what? Everybody just told me, you know what? You should start on the help desk. I thought that was cool, but nobody really explained to me what that meant exactly, get on the help desk. Um, they didn't tell me that I'd actually be dealing with password resets and that I would be dealing with people that are upset because their cell phone is broken and they just want somebody to fix it. Um, oh, and they didn't tell me that I'd have to actually learn how to troubleshoot the new iPhone the exact same day that it drops. So uh, in this video, I'm just simply breaking down what help desk jobs actually look like on a day-to-day -day basis and just the parts that nobody really wants to talk about as far as the good the bad the ugly the real and uh, I'm just gonna tell you how to make it work if you're actually using the help desk as your stepping stone into tech so uh, let's get into it okay so what it sounds like versus what help desk really is uh, help desk sounds simple right to most people they think that you'll just probably be fixing computer issues and uh, maybe fixing a cell phone issue here and there but no it, it's a little bit deeper than that okay when it comes to help desk doing help desk you're going to be a problem solver you're going to be a customer service rep you're going to be an emotional punching bag at times and then you're going to be a multitasker that has to essentially document everything that goes on um as far as your day-to-day, -day, you're gonna be answering phone calls, responding to chats, maybe even walking people through issues on a Zoom call, something like that. And then uh, you'll also be using tools like Active Directory, ticketing systems, those are big inside of Help Desk. And um, those are kind of the things that you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, so just a little bit about my personal story. I did used to work at Verizon Wireless uh, doing technical support slash help desk. And uh, let me tell you, every single day it was different, but it was weirdly the same. You know, we would troubleshoot maybe something like a Galaxy tablet, maybe one hour, and then help somebody the next hour try to get access into the iCloud uh, when they'd forgotten their password. Basically, every single phone call that we got, it was different. We had no clue what to expect as far as what kind of issue the customer was, was going to have. Um, one customer would have an issue maybe with voicemail uh, the next customer probably would have an issue with the data card so the issues definitely vary from day to day um, that did induce just a little bit of stress but um, the more phone calls you take it basically helped us to get more accustomed to what type of phone calls that we get and, you know we did have training as far as the first initial onboarding training that we had I think it was great they taught us about cell phone towers they taught us about uh, how to actually talk to the customer um, they did also teach us how to gain first call resolution which basically means that um, once you talk to a customer you resolve that customer's issue on the first call and my call center or my organization they were really huge on uh, uh, you know gaining first call resolution it was like a really important aspect of the company so any information that we weren't really uh, sure about as far as how to help the customer with their issue, uh, we had this huge knowledge base that we had to actually access on the phone call with the customer to uh, give the customer information from that knowledge base. Um, some IT help desk jobs, they may allow you to actually Google to try to go find the answer and then you can give it to the customer or the person that you're trying to help. However, the company I work for, which was Verizon, they didn't allow that. Uh, if we didn't know the answer, we went inside that knowledge base and we had to read basically uh, a verbatim script to each customer. Uh, Verizon, they were really big on that. So here's the stuff that people don't tell you about help desk. Now you're gonna deal with angry people and it's not really because it's your fault or that you did anything that, to mess up, but it's just because people get frustrated when their tech or their devices is, isn't working and they're just gonna start taking it out on you. So you're gonna have to get used to that. Also, you're gonna get repeat issues as far as having the same problem from 12 different people. Um, it gets old kind of fast. I'll give you an example. I used to work with mobile devices and people get stuck and they can't access their voicemail box inside their mobile devices. And so you're gonna get phone call after phone call after phone call, maybe all day long, uh, as far as people needing a voicemail reset or a voicemail passcode reset to get into their voicemail box. Also, you might get stuck to a script or have like time goals that rush your support. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an example. Um, some companies, they have a special script that you have to stick to when you're talking to each customer. That script helps you have certain goals or metrics that you hit while you're actually on that phone call and it helps uh, make the phone call go a little bit more smoother. But the problem is, is you're actually talking to a real live human. And so yeah, it makes it difficult to stick to a script and actually be personable with the person that you're talking to across the line. And people know when you're not like being 100% authentic with them, you know what I mean? And it kind of is it's offensive to people. And then sometimes you'll actually fix something for a customer or for a person and then they'll actually still blame you for the original issue. So help us, it's not really a glamorous drop, but it definitely gets real. <laughs> So here's what you really learn when it comes to the help desk. 
And here's the upside to it. Help desk, it teaches you how to stay calm under pressure. It teaches you how to communicate clearly with non-technical people or non-technical users. Uh, during help desk, you're gonna actually document everything. So your writing actually starts to become a lot better. Um, you also use real tools that are used inside of like an enterprise type environment. And so with that, you start to adapt fast, especially like when new tech drops. Uh, whether it's mobile devices, VPN issues, printer configurations, or email errors, uh, you're basically just learning how to think like an IT professional. And that's always good. You do get exposed to how companies run their tech, and then you build foundations that leads to actual networking, cloud cyber security and just so much more. So is help desk still worth it in 2025? And I think the answer is yes, uh, but only as a launch pad, okay? Help desk is not really where people are meant to stay, at least in my opinion. Um, I think help desk is gonna be your entry point as far as your paid learning ground and like use that time to get certifications like the A+, you get Network Plus, maybe uh, Linux Essentials. Uh, basically what you're gonna do is just start building your resume with real world tickets and just learn from your coworkers in higher roles if they will allow you to kind of latch on and kind of do like a mentorship type thing. And most importantly, don't stop learning. Even while you're working, you wanna make sure that you keep studying to keep building upon your foundation. Uh, that's how I personally actually earned my Linux Essentials cert. It's just by actually continuing to work and uh, use the benefits I get at work to actually help pay for my certification. And that way I learned Linux. I learned a new skill while I was actually working. So if you're on the help desk, let me say this to you. You're not really behind. Uh, you're actually already in the game and you're ahead of a lot of other people. Uh, this is how you want to get the experience that they always ask for in those job descriptions that you look at when you go to something like Indeed or like one of those job websites where they have the job actually listed as far as the descriptions and what they want in that job. Uh, help desk is going to help you with those skills and it's going to help you with those qualifications. Um, this is going to be where you actually learn how tech works. Uh, it's not just in theory, but you're getting real life skills and that's going to be invaluable. Now, you may not get praised for it, but some days help desk is going to suck and you're not going to like it. That, I mean, that's just the truth about it. But if you stay focused, you stay positive and you keep leveling up, you're actually going to move on from the help desk into some other area of IT and, and you'll be happy. <laughs> So uh, if this video helped you out, drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more real talk on breaking into IT. And uh, I've been where you are and I'm walking this path with you. So you're definitely not alone. If you're looking for more training as far as how to get into IT and just how to get those real life skills, uh, check my link in the description for Course Careers. It's an excellent boot camp. Uh, comment below if you're already working on help desk or you're just trying to like land that first job. Uh, remember, keep God first and everything will be good. So see you guys in IT.